Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, we are working on a 1988 Mustang GT, aka the Red Demon. We're doing a 7665 on three turbo build on a stock 302. Uh, go back and check out some of the other videos, guys. I hope you enjoy them. couple packages in uh, this week we was actually waiting on one it took two weeks to get here could have just went ahead and ordered from summit but of course it's a budget bill so i was trying to save a couple dollars of course um, but the seller that i bought it from had it posted on their uh, website that they had 89 units in stock well come to find out they didn't have none in stock at all so they actually had to wait on um, vortex to send them one and then send it to me uh, I contacted the seller and you know let them know that I wasn't very happy uh, with the way things were done so they shipped it out to me as soon as possible and I got it in yesterday so we're going to take a look at it I also had to contact uh, on three performance uh, about my injector harness because they wouldn't made up to the injectors uh, so I talked to Greg super cool people guys uh, I love dealing with on three man I hadn't had any issues whatsoever with them um, but I let him know what the problem was and I don't know maybe if they just forgot to or you know just you know just being human you know just everybody makes mistakes basically uh, but he sent me the connectors that I needed so they came about two days later I appreciate that Greg um, we'll get those installed today and we're gonna take a look at what's in the box real quick uh, I also got another package um, I'm not gonna be running the um, boost controller that uh, ON3 uh, provided. So what we did, we ordered a, uh, a Turbo Smart boost controller. Got one of them. I really would like to have black, but I didn't want to pay the extra $5, you know. But I think this was like 34 and some change, free shipping on eBay, so that was a good price. So we got a Turbo Smart boost uh, controller. Uh, still got to get that installed. That came in this week. And we got one of our key components that we actually needed. Uh, not this second, of course, but we are going to need it. And that is the uh, radiator hose pipe. Come with two clamps. And guys, this thing is uh, not cheap by no means, man. I'll tell you, they really think a lot of this thing. Uh, stainless steel. Um, I think I give when I ordered it through that company it was a speed shop I believe it was uh, but when I ordered it through them uh, shipping and all it was like 80 something bucks some it had it for $88 and then $14 I believe it was shipping so I, was, I paid a little bit less ordering through this company but you know I had to wait on it two weeks uh, because uh, they basically were sold out and didn't update their website to let people know they're sold out but got that in so we're going to be needing that, of course. And I went ahead and bought some wire loom. Just went to the parts house and got some. Uh, I was kind of impatient. I wanted to go ahead and start wrapping this harness instead of ordering some, because I know I could have got it cheaper. Got a lot more footage uh, at a cheaper price, but you know, I didn't need a whole lot. So we got the, the injector harness reloomed. Everything looks really nice now took that 30 plus year old uh, wire loom off of it. And like I said in a couple of videos ago, I did rewrap all of this with new um, electrical tape. Now I didn't pull the old electrical tape off, I basically just laid this on top of it, just wrapped this on top of it. It just gives it a little bit more installation. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything to have more tape on it. So we got this wrapped and ready to install in the car. We got the pigtails that we needed. And we got a boost controller. And I also, also got my cold piping wrap. It's already been wrapped, ready to install. I hadn't done the exhaust pipe yet. Uh, I'll do that, you know, one day this week. But I did this one day after work, went ahead and wrapped this, so our cold piping is ready to put on. But I need to get the intake installed. I need to get the intake installed and get the throttle body installed. Now, I'm not going to separate the throttle body from the EGR plate because, as you see, She's actually well on her pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with it. That just lets me know that she's got a good seal. 
we'll just put a new gasket on this side and stick it on the intake. Um, so I need to get this right here cleaned up for uh, making surface on the intake. I've already done the intake uh, for the lower side and for the uh, throttle body. And I just got finished up doing the uh, lower intake. So everything's cleaned up, guys. I just need to get started on getting this stuff installed so I can get back onto mocking up the cold side of the uh, turbo. So stop talking and we're gonna start working. All right, guys, we're all back. I think what we'll go ahead and do is put these uh, connectors on first and then we'll lay the harness up here and then we'll get ready to stick the upper intake on. And of course, we're using some dielectric grease. You gotta make sure you use that on your connectors.
got the injector harness installed. Uh, got the pigtails in. Greg, I appreciate you for sending those things out to me, man. Uh, guys, if you want to do a good budget-friendly turbo on your car, you really can't beat on three, so make sure you go check those guys out. Uh, upper intake is on. I did use anti-seize on these bolts, so don't freak out. You just didn't see me do it. Uh, already got the studs in for the throttle body. Throttle body's already cleaned up, ready to go. Already got the EGR uh, delete plate on it. So it's ready to be put on the car. We'll get the throttle cable hooked up. Uh, we'll do all that in the next video. Uh, but that's all I got, guys. If you're new to the channel, uh, I sure would appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Make sure you click that notification bell. Drop me a comment down below, whether it be good or bad. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Whatever you're gonna do, it's your choice. I'm a big boy, I can take it. Uh, I'll put a card up here in the corner because I have a lot of people I have a lot of people ask me about the five look conversion on this car. Uh, guys, you can save a ton of money if you would just do it yourself instead of buying a kit. But uh, I'll put a card up here, you go check it out. Now look down there in the description. I do have the uh, years of the parts that I used. If you have any questions, just feel free to drop me a comment down below and I will do the best I can to answer them. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for watching the channel, I really do, I appreciate it. All my subscribers, guys, you are awesome. And uh, to all my regular commenters, guys, you're awesome too, man. Uh, but that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, man.